Hey, welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, talking about uh, long wave, which is something we don't talk about a lot. Of course, a lot of you might tune long wave bands and hear absolutely nothing. Now, here in North America, long wave is mostly uh, for utilities of non-directional beacon stations from airports and there's some experimental stuff from amateur radio bands uh, from about one something like 136 137 kilohertz uh, and you know there could be a few things on the top of the uh, what a lot of radios call long wave uh, 490 and 518 kilohertz might have some navtex transmissions so these are things that are possible uh, remember that your in the internal ferrite of your radio is probably the antenna that will be used in most cases when you go down. Now, this is what a non-directional beacon sounds like. Notice how I turned the radio. That's because ferrite antennas are directional. So you got to turn your radio to guy to get the stations that you want. Which means if you do a scan and the radio is in one position, you need to do a scan in a different position if you need to try it for frequency. So try it in different positions. Do the same scan because you might be missing on stations if you always put the radio in the same angle. So this is one of the first tips to uh, actually successful finding of non-directional beacons. The second is to use single sideband. So you can put yourself in upper sideband, for example, like I just did here, and slowly tune around. The reason single sideband is good is because single sideband will help you hear the very weak non-directional beacon so in, in AM mode you'll hear the strongest but the very weak ones and you'll need to actually fetch them through single sideband that will help you actually hear the very very weak ones and in most uh, locations even if there's no non-directional beacons really close there are enough in North America if your noise floor isn't too high that you will probably hear a few uh, they might be very weak, and you might need to have single sideband to actually get them, but you'll be surprised that uh, there's probably some weak ones in there. And of course, uh, you can go and check out which one it is by identifying the Morse code letters and going to uh, the link that I'm going to share with this video, which is the William Hepburn uh, non-directional beacon list. Do tune around now because they are being decommissioned. Uh, every three to six months there's a bunch of them decommissioned eventually there will be no more of those because the airplanes use a new satellite service uh, to check out there's GPS there's all sorts of ways for the airplane to know where it's positioned so uh, non-directional beacons are slowly disappearing now if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching